We're talking about wisdom, and we're talking about it um, not in light of, <clears throat> of, of knowing deep things or, or finding a secret wisdom. Yes, it is hidden wisdom. And yes, it's been hidden from the foundation of the world. But it's really just knowing him, knowing his heart, knowing the way his mind works, knowing the preciousness of his heart. Um, and therefore being with eternal wisdom, him, him, Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And so... We're doing it with uh, stories in the Bible, <clears throat> but the goal is not to figure out the mystery of the stories. You remember, and we'll, we'll go back through some of this, but uh, we'll go back through Genesis 1 a little bit. <clears throat> we'll go back through Genesis 2. And we saw that there was a difference, right? You remember that? There was a difference between Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 in relationship to Adam and creation and, and even God's sort of approach. But the goal, the purpose, is not <clears throat> to figure out the story. It's to figure out the wisdom behind it. The wisdom of God behind it. And so to do that, we'll take the Holy Spirit. But He's here. I felt Him already. I know He's already here. And He and, and this isn't and God's not trying to hide this from us. It's just hidden because our minds run one direction, even if they're religious, even if they're Christian mind. It's still not the mind of Christ. And so, um, so it's hidden, but it's, it's made known when he is known on a certain level. Not just when he's known. I know Jesus. I know Jesus. He, he died on the cross. He, he loves me. He, he, you know, all the Christian concepts but to know him on an eternal level um, and you remember let's see if I can I do have a lot that I've been searching on wow um, <clears throat> the scripture uh, that I read and I'm still not finding That he said that Jesus, uh, when he said uh, that he was, he began to speak in parables, and then the writer said that that he is speaking in parables about eternal wisdom or wisdom that was before, as it were, the world. Yes. Matthew 13.35? Yeah. Is that the verse you were looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have it? <laughs> I can have it quickly. Okay. okay. Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. It's just powerful stuff. I mean, it shook me to my core when I read that with, you know, I've read it a million times, you know. And I think, uh, as I said before, you know, last night, that my concept of the parable, of the parables, that they were supposed to be simple explanations so that we could see little, in a little 
parable story, uh, something deeper. But that's talking about something beyond deeper. That's talking about something that was before the world. Okay, well, that means before our, you know, we understand things, and we understand life, and we understand reading, and we understand pictures, and we understand stories. But there's a wisdom that is God's heart that was before all of that. So we're always trying to read something in the scriptures and fit it into our lives. When this wisdom is about his life, about the, the relationship of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you, you know, you can, a person can teach that all they want and you can understand the, the pieces. But we don't want that. We, we, want, we want to hear it from him. We want to hear it from the Holy Spirit. And so, <clears throat> so I encourage you, um, I encourage you, as I said, to jump in or to share or to ask a question or <clears throat> to make a comment and don't be afraid to comment. Um, and, and I encourage you to continue to, uh, when you're away from this and maybe living in here, wherever you're, located with those around you that you pray and that you talk and that you you know just be open with one another about what we're doing here and trusting that the Lord's going to show us <clears throat> so now if I can find my other place <laughs> um, here it is <clears throat> so we're going to start with Genesis chapter 1 again. <clears throat> and we're going to try to <clears throat> um, carefully... Look now, we read through Genesis 1, right? Remember that? We just read through it and went, ah. And then we read through Genesis 2 and went, that's different, you know. So now we want to just take a note of a few things. And you might have already taken note of some things. And uh, so I, seriously, I'm not, I am welcoming, you know, because the Lord's still dealing with me on all of this. <clears throat> Genesis 1, starting with verse 26. And God said, <clears throat> let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, verse 27, so, so God created man in his own image in the image of God Created he him. Okay. Now, um, God is about to start speaking to, to Adam uh, about what all this means and its relationship to him. <clears throat> but one of the things I think that we miss is that it's, again, it's like a story to us. And we have to quit looking at it, everything like a story. We have to start saying, what's the wisdom behind the story? Why that? Why this? Why would he do that? You know, Lord, bring me into your reasoning, into your heart, into your, you know, beyond just the story. Or we get, or we learn certain things facts about the story and think we're okay. Okay? So, just even under your breath as we go along, just pray. Just say, Lord, show me what you mean there. It may not be something I emphasize. Lord, just show me what you mean there. Show me what's in your heart when you were saying that. Where were you going with this, Lord? 
Oh, don't you know he wants to answer those <laughs> questions? Yeah. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> verse 27 said, that, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, created he him. Um, and now he's going to tell, he's going to tell Adam some things in relationship to everything else that he created. Is it going to be, uh, well, I'm giving you dominion over this thing and that thing and this thing, and I, I, you know, I'm God, I like naming everything, I'm going to give you dominion over, you know. <clears throat> everything he's going to say now is going to, it's going to be what, it, it's going to be, you're now in my image, so I'm going to talk to you mm-hmm. like you're mine and you're part of me. Mm-hmm. See, it's not just, well, Adam was this and then, you know, now he's, now he's in charge. No, God, th- there's a wisdom he's going to be using. Mm-hmm. And it's so simple that it's profound. Mm-hmm. And it's so profound that it's simple. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So he says, um, so I wrote in my notes, what he is going to tell Adam is after his image. Okay, so let's read, read the rest then. Uh, verse 28, and God blessed them. Well, what does that mean? I mean, I know our Christian, oh, bless you. Bless you, bless you. No, 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 no. They're in his image and he's blessing what's what he believes is going to come forth if it stays in his image. Okay. Um, God blessed them and said unto them, God said, God said to to his image. In someone else. God said to that which was him. Amen. God said unto them, Be yes. fruitful. Mm-hmm. Be. We, we, we emphasize the fruitful. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I'll do stuff for you. I'll be fruitful. I'll do this. I'll do that. That's not what he's saying. He's saying, be fruitful like I am, like God is. Be fruitful the way that I am. Because you're mine. And you're of me now. And we've got a journey that we're going to be taking. And he's just, he's just saying that, you know. Statement. If you can really get into his heart, he's, he's embracing, he, he's blessing He's not waiting to see, well, I wonder how this is going to work out. He's, he's saying, you're mine. But you're mine in my understanding, not in your understanding. And, and I'm going to tell you right now that that's where we mess up. Because we start reading these very simple things that he says after this, and we see it in our own understanding. And to be honest with you, it means almost nothing to our spiritual life. It's just facts. It's just things that we read. It's just facts. But for him, oh my goodness, he's opening his heart. Okay, so so be, you know, you are in my image. Be fruitful. And then a really big one comes next. <clears throat> and multiply. Okay. Now I know. We go, you know, have babies, you know, have lots of babies, especially you, Eve, you know, you know, you're going to love having babies. No, he's not talking about babies. He's talking about multiplying. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to explain it right now, but I'm going to ask you to ask the Lord what that means, but I'm going to give you a hint. That word is really big in some of the parables. Mm -hmm. 
really big. And I'll tell you another thing. <clears throat> it's really big in the parables. Uh, I'll say this first, just to straighten you up a little bit. It's scary when it's brought up in the parables when it's not fulfilled. I didn't say kept. I said fulfilled. It's that big to him. It's that big. And I, I could show you two parables right off the bat where, you know, it doesn't use that exact word, but it's the principle of that exact word. And, uh, wow. Amen. It's just powerful. So read, read some of the parables. I don't know. You know, there's a bunch of them in there, actually. There's more than you would think. We always think, well, there's a section, and it has... But it's, there's more than even that. <clears throat> and remember, we're not just talking about Genesis. We're talking about the parables. But we're not just talking about the parables. We're talking about the wisdom that has been hidden, you know, since the foundation of the world. And that wisdom is only understood by the Spirit but there are key words. There are key words, like this word multiply, that can help us to grasp that, but only with the Holy Spirit. And all of my teaching isn't going to do that. It's not. Especially in this realm, oh, we're talking the heart of God. We're talking stuff that, that's, that's His business, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, I do have a, a little tiny phrase here, but I don't know if I want to release it yet. So I'm going to ask you guys when you're, when you're together tonight, when you're together tomorrow, and you're talking about these things, um, this area would be a really good one. This would be a really good one. This area of multiply. Okay. <clears throat> um, and replenish the earth and subdue it. Okay, so now we're going to get into... Uh, dominion or are we it says multiply replenish the earth subdue it and have dominion okay so what does dominion mean to us what dominance. would the word pardon dominance dominance yeah take care. pardon take care. Take care. Take care of, yeah. Good. Father. Father. Good. Anybody else? To rule. Mm -hmm. To rule. Father. Protect. Protect. Authority. Authority. What? Protect. Protect. <clears throat> okay. So what we've done is we've just given a bunch of words in relationship to our concept of dominion. Right? Well, what that means is, and, and why it was important that we did that is, what that means is, is that um, we need, if we're going to ever really get into this, we need to express so many different angles of it that we realize, maybe, what if God had a different idea? What if God actually had a different idea all along and we just thought, Dominion, yes, I will be a cult leader or I will be a renegade uh, president or I will be this or that. And, and uh, you know, and I bet you anything that all kind of people had, that have abused people and abused uh, authority and everything else have used these scriptures. And that's not what they mean. It's not what it means. Ultimately, it's not to rule over. Okay, so let me, okay, so let me just add a few more words, okay. Uh, multiply, uh, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over the fish. <laughs> Come here, fish. I'm in charge of you. 
Yeah. I mean, do you, do you really think that's what it's about? But see, because we don't read all, you know, all into it, we read portions that we understand, like the minion. Okay, well, we mentioned all the different things, but the the Lord not only trips us up, but makes us look silly. You look silly because we're going to have authority over the fish. We're going to have. We're going to rule over you, little fish. And that's why goldfish are putting little bowls. Because <laughs> we have dominion over them. Yes! Mm, no. No. He's got so much more of his heart and of his way and of his mind and of his wisdom. And, and we want to know his wisdom. And you can't know it by just wanting to know his wisdom. You have to say, I want to know your wisdom by knowing you because... This wisdom is part and parcel, if you will, with God Himself. Amen. It is, it is the way He moves. It is the way He thinks. And that's not, that's not us. Mm -hmm. That's not us. We're not that way. We don't make decisions very often that are aligned with his. And I know we think we do. I mean, you know, well, I've been in the ministry, you know, since I was 22, 23, I don't know. And I've made a lot of decisions. And I've made a lot of decisions that, that I thought was right. And weren't. And I've made a lot of decisions that I thought was God. And wasn't. And I don't know that I really, really, really started making any decent decisions until I started knowing Him. Mm -hmm. I want to know You, Lord. Amen. I want to know what's in Your heart. That's right. I want to move with Your heart, not have You move with me. Amen. And that's mm -hmm. a key right there. Mm -hmm. Not have You, because that's, that's Christianity. Oh, move that's with me, God. Right. Move with me. Help me. Oh. Do this for me. Change me. Fix this. Me, me, me. Mm -hmm. There's no way we'll ever know the wisdom that is God mm -hmm. until that reverses. Hallelujah. It's about Him. That's right. And your heart just longs mm -hmm. and cries out for Him. Praise God. Because you love Him and you want Him and um, and you know that for him to just serve you, it's just a, a sad, sad relationship. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to hear your comments. And then I want you to listen, whether it's me or anyone else. And I want you to evaluate, ask, th put it through the filter of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Just say, you know, where is that? In your, in your being, yeah. you know, because that's there. You have the son saying, saying that. So verse twenty nine says, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb yielding seed. Uh, actually, it's every herb. <laughs> yes, it is. We're in Ireland. Don't you pronounce that's it herb? Right. We just read the word. <laughs> Don't you pronounce it her? Her, yes. yes. Her. I'm sorry. Now you have to go with the, where you're at. Like when in Rome, come on. When you read the word, it says her. <laughs> uh, that's right. Do you and, honor your brother, father and mother? <laughs> well, you know, Herb lived just down the street from Jesus. <laughs> okay. So... Um, so he's, he's saying to him, I have given you. I have given you. That's right. Bearing seed. That's right. Yeah. I have given that to you. Amen. Amen. Well, he could say, he could, he could say, Adam could say, no, you haven't, you haven't given me that. 
You see what I'm saying? Hey, I don't see it in my hands. Where is this? Where, you know? And this is this is what we do to the Lord, folks. We are um, trying to see something instead of receive something. Mm -hmm. The parable of the of the sower. <laughs> Some receive seed. We need to receive the seed in good ground. Mm -hmm. Receive it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the situation of if if you're in the image, you've been made in the image mm -hmm. of God. Wow. And he's telling you that I've given this to you. Then you need to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you understand what I'm saying? You say thank you. You're not going, well, where is it? Or prove it or show it to me. Or I don't have it. Or, you know, well, when am I going to get it? Or, you know, you understand what I mean? We're, we're all, we're in this realm. We're in the wrong realm. That's right. We're not in the realm of his heart. Amen. We're trying to get something when he says, I already gave it to you. And it's in relationship to him because Jesus was the dying seed of John 12, 24. That's where it all, that's the image that all these seeds came from, was Jesus giving himself on the cross. So, I have given you every bearing seed. If the wisdom of God is how he thinks and how he is and how he's motivated and all this stuff, then we, then that's the Bible. Yes. That's the Bible. But if we only see lessons and, and thou shalt and thou shalt not and all of that, then we've missed it. We've missed Him. We might with that be able to measure up to Christianity, but we're not measuring up to Christ. And so, I mean, the Lord is... There in lies multiplication. The Lord is blessing us. Yes, He is. The Lord is blessing us. Mm -hmm. So I want to I want to read this again, and I want to add the next part because it's just almost too much to bear. Mm -hmm. I have, and okay, I'm going to say it again. This is God who made someone in their own image and is talking to them where He is because you should have this. This is the way you should understand. And this is the wisdom that you should understand. And and uh, and this is the if I say this about you, you should receive this because you're me. Okay. Now listen to this. I have given you every uh, herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth. Wow. Look at that. You know, he didn't give him a little basket That's full. Right. <laughs> he says, I've, I've already given you. Look, it's past tense. I have given you. That's it's already yours. All, well, so again, guess what? We're not talking about little seeds. We're talking about everything that can bring forth after his nature, after his kind. Because that's the way he that's thinks amazing. when he did it. Everything. And, and you have plenty of scriptures that prove that all of this creation that, that God did was after a kind that's and amazing. after an image. And before the fall. And yes. Yep, yeah, before the that's fall. Right. Yes. This is the, like it says in uh, Matthew, it, this is wisdom before mm -hmm. all of our junk. <laughs> and, and, and excuse me if I belabor this, but we must understand, I have given you, okay? I have, if, you, if we receive that, mm -hmm. then we'd quit going, Lord, give me. Yeah. Amen. Okay? Um, and, but, it, but there's more. I have given you every. Mm. What? Please, stop looking at yourself. Stop thinking of your Christianity. Look like you're Adam just made in the image of Christ and God is talking to you and saying, it's yours already. Mm -hmm. There's not a prayer that can bring it to you. Amen. 
Because it's already there in Christ. Amen? It's a finished work. It's more than a finished yeah. work. It is, it is the fulfillment of being made in His image. It is the fulfillment of Him bringing you into Himself. And, you know, but see, He, he didn't bring, see, He didn't bring Adam into a guy. And then start working on it. You know, he didn't create him and go, "You're a mess." Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, he says he starts talking to him like he's one. It's powerful. Yes. Okay. So then, and then he tacked on every seed that bears fruit because. Back then, it, there was no money. There was no measure. Yeah, there was no measure of what was important except God's measure. This this bearing of seed. It's, it, the parables are full of it. The parables are full of it. It's incredible. Wisdom before. The world. Well, what was before the world? God. God. Yeah. Yeah. So, so his his supply is not based on. Well, I will make sure that you get the money you need. That's right. It is. I give you every seed that's going to bring forth. Uh, Uh, what does it say? Which seed is Christ? Praise. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yep. Which seed is Christ? You know. <clears throat> so, um, and, and like I said, I'm I, I'm going to just add this second part again. Every seed which is upon the face, mm-hmm. wait a minute, of all the earth. Could you could you embrace that? No. I mean, if you embrace it, you don't have to have it. You do have it, but you don't have it in possession. You have it by having dominion over anything that tries to drag you away from that reality mm-hmm. that is God. Mm-hmm. There is. If you know you you have dominion over anything else, that's what he gave dominion for. That doesn't affect me. That doesn't affect me. Mm-hmm. This does. Lord, you affect me. Mm-hmm. You're what affect me. Mm-hmm. See, we're going. I got dominion. I'm the boss. You need to do what I say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, that's nothing like him. That's right. Excuse me for getting excited. But it's nothing like him. It's not his nature. It's not his way. It's not his heart. It's not his his spirit. It's not his being. It's it is it is so deeply contrary that it's of the devil. But but the way it was given to to Adam, all he had to do was say. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know. And then let God bring it forth because it's going to be seed Mm. stuff. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. forth. But you, but you, you know, but imagine if Adam said, wow, this is so powerful. I can't believe. And the next day he got up and we went, now what was that? You know, and God... Would you, you know, tell me that again? Or, you know, and there was this part I can't remember. Lord, bring that to my remembrance and stuff. It's all an embrace from one heart to another. Mm -hmm. It's an embrace. Will you embrace? Mm -hmm. Will you will you embrace him? Will you embrace his word? You know, yes, that's it's true. You're right. He, Adam has none of it in his hands. He has none of it to hug. He has none of it to, 
you know, yeah, but it's all there. It's all His. Or do you have to possess every seed in the whole world right now in a big pile? Or can you be satisfied with the heart of the one who said it's yours? Yes. Beautiful. If you can, then seeds start popping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Man, we're not making much ground tonight, are we? It's good ground. Oh, it's good. We're good ground tonight. Good ground. Good ground. Good ground. This is good ground, people. Dominion over all the earth. That's right. That's right. And that that's just so powerful. See, I didn't mention it, this dominion part because I wanted you to see that there are mm-hmm. things that in his heart he has given and and uh, dominion is going to say, I'm with you. I don't need your proof right now. I don't need you to repeat it again. I am with you. And what you said is my truth mm-hmm. and is my heart. Hallelujah. And nobody's going to ever take you away from Amen. me. Praise the Lord. And you dwell in that garden. Oh, hallelujah. You dwell in that garden. Yes, Lord. And that garden blooms. It blooms. And I'll show you how powerful that garden is after a little while. Praise the Lord. Probably not tonight. I can't even get out of a couple of verses here. Uh, what time do we start? <laughs> Five minutes ago. Did you see what time it is? It's already been an hour. It's Jesus' time. We were singing. Oh, we were singing. Up until two minutes. It feels like we just started. Let's keep rolling. You're here for the word. We're hungry. Come on. God is outside of time. Bring it. All right. Well, don't just don't forget this, which is upon the face of all the earth. What verse is that one? That's still verse 29. <laughs> We're crawling through it because there's so much there. Yeah. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Um, we just have to extend the holiday of the week. Okay, and so it says, uh, bearing seed, uh, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree. Hmm. Yes. Well, we're going to see some trees come up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, in, the, in the story here. That's but, so cool. But what we need to see is the wisdom of God. We need to see the heart of God. We need to see the way that He thinks. If He, if he says, I have given it to you, guess what? Yeah, there's no argument. Why do you let your little brain argue? That's right. Well, because I don't have it right here. You have him. Just love Him. Just be with Him. Just trust Him. Don't Fight in your mind with him, though I know you you don't think you're fighting in your mind with him, but you're just going, well, how am I gonna or whatever? I'm telling you, he's not faithful to you. He's faithful to his son. He's faithful to his word, yes. and his son is in you. Amen. Therefore, he's faithful to you. Amen. 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 So, but you don't come first. That's right. The word comes first. <laughs> the Lord comes first. His word comes first, and all of that is coming from His heart. That's right. That's right. And wisdom from before the foundation of the world comes forth out of that heart. Mm-hmm. And heaven and earth will pass away but he'll bring forth a new heaven and a new earth based on this. So we, we, we walk in it now. We walk in it now. We believe it now. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, uh, so he says, uh, every tree in the which is the fruit of, a, uh, fruit of a tree yielding seed. Again, the seed. Again, the a tree. seed. A tree. Yep. Uh, the fruit of a tree. But then, uh, then it says yielding seed. 
He's looking or He is giving you what has life in it to bring forth more life. Yes. It's not about you having a happy life first and foremost. It's about you being with Him and having a life that will bring forth more life. <laughs> Amen? Yes. Amen? And then He says... Um, after saying all of that, you know, the fish and the fowl, da, 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 and then the trees and the, uh, the fruit and everything, to you it shall be for meat or food. That word is food. That, that's supper. <laughs> all of this, I want you to live on. I want you to live on this yes, that I'm, yeah. I've given you. Mm-hmm. Not live on, you know, what you can conjure up to the glory of God, if you will. No, what's already given you. And to be with Him is greater than what He's given you. Amen. To be with Him feeds you. Mm. Feeds you. It feeds mm. your insides. It feeds your heart. It feeds your soul. It feeds you. It, 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 if it feeds your soul, your soul is the thing that jumps the tracks all the time. You know, and it gets off and, you know, da-da-da-da. But if your soul is fed, yes. your spirit, soul, and body is fed with this, yes. which is what? His heart, yes. His view, then what shall any man do? Amen. How will they take, take that away from you? They can kill the body, but they cannot kill that. Hallelujah. Mm. That's, that's eternal. Amen. This is, remember, Amen. the parable? Before. Yes. You have to see that. Yes. Because it, it can't just be a teaching. Mm. It can't just mm. be a teaching. Let's not let it be a teaching. Yes, Lord. You know? Mm-hmm. We have to pursue yes, Him. And, 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 uh, and the Lord still, we still got several days of, you, of going. So we can soften more and more every day. And every time you get together, when you're, when you're talking and, and sharing fellowship, what does it say about, uh, and the Lord looked upon those who thought about Him and talked about Him. Where's Malachi? Malachi, you know. And it just blessed His heart so much. What you've been doing. Amen. I think we are always in His heart. <laughs> Well, we are, but... but we were always, from eternity, I think he's always wanted that family. And through his son, he comes back. Amen. Cool. <laughs> Amen. All right, so... Um, it shall be for meat, and then to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein his life I have given... Uh, I have given every herb for meat. He's saying all of this... You can feed off of this instead of be destroyed by it. The beasts, the creepy things, the things that that you know the, those things that we uh, are afraid of, or those things that disturb us, or whatever else. Yeah. Caleb said it best: they are bread for us. Mm-hmm. They're bread for us, mm-hmm. and the rest of them, except for Joshua, are all going. They're giants, or they're creepy things. <laughs> They're beasts and they've got all this armor and all of this stuff. And we shouldn't go into the promised land. And God's saying, go in, go in. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the humanity has already left what I gave to it. And yeah. now I'm promising you a smaller portion, but it's still my heart and it's still oh, big yeah. to me. And it can be big to you yes. and it can grow. And yeah. so, so go in, go oh, in. Yeah. And, and, and Caleb's going, I'm telling you, uh, you know, this is, this is, we, we can do this. Amen. If God's with us, we can do this. Hallelujah. You know? Yes. But see, that can't be emotion. It can't be reading that scripture and get hyped up. It has to be the wisdom of God. It has yeah. to be his mind, the way he thinks, and the way when he talks, he's telling you what he's thinking. Amen. Say. So, do you see how that this is not a story story? Mm-hmm. This is God trying to impart mm-hmm. of Himself and bring us in. Yes, Lord. It's kind of like, I'm going to give you this and then 
Get over here, woman. <laughs> this is his heart. That's right. This is his heart. And and the wording is just amazing to me. I I know that Oh gosh. It's just He's okay, so let's go back to the beasts or the creeping mm. things. Mm. Okay. Some of you who've been around my teaching know that I make reference to beasts, you know. The, uh, there's a lot that I've shared on that. Uh, and I don't want to get into all that right now, but the beasts and the creeping things and the, you know, that sort of thing, listen to what this says. And, and uh, don't look right now first. Let me read it and then I'll read it again. You can look at it, okay? Me. It says, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Okay. He's saying anything that has life to it, you can eat. Even if it's a creeping thing. <laughs> it's bread for you. These giants... They're creeps, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're bread for us. <laughs> see, they're bread. Amen. You say they're beasts. That's what the rest of them said. They're beasts. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. No, they're not. God has given us. And, and, and Caleb said, this is a fruitful land. <laughs> this is way better than the desert I've been living in. That's right. <laughs> you know, yes. The dryness. That's right. Yeah. The, the tiredness. That's right. The, the, all the, uh, the, the attacks that are going on out there. Mm. Let's, you know, it was, it was kind of like, for a change, instead of being attacked by every That's nation, right. you know, mm. let's go on the offensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let's say, yes. the Lord is with us. The Lord said this. Mm -hmm. The Lord told it to Adam. We can right. claim this. This is already ours. Amen. But they weren't attuned. They weren't attuned to that. They weren't attuned to Him. They were attuned to their wisdom or their knowledge or their view or their hurts or their problems. And, you know, and they said, well, not, you know, no, I mean, this, they'll kill our children. They use their children for an excuse. Their children. For an excuse not to embrace embrace so but the Lord says it's all for me it's got life in it if you if you it's funny because it's kind of like this it's got life in it if you give it life when it's dead it's got life in it if you take it by the nature of Christ and according to his heart and his word then it's going to be bread for you it's both it's both it's, it, it has a life of its own if you let it, you know, crawl on your plate and look you in the eye and scare you. When it, it's meant to be give life to you. Or it's life when you look at those giants and, you know, the, 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 most of them said, well, we're, we can't defeat them. We're like grasshoppers. Anybody ever eaten grasshoppers before? Really? I'm the only one? <laughs> Chocolate-covered grasshoppers. I'm sorry, but I have. Um, she got excited. <laughs> it's, it's yummy because she loves chocolate. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> and guess what? Probably if you were in the desert and you found one locust or something, you would eat it and it'd probably keep you alive. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny how that works? You get desperate enough or you get enough of, of the Lord's heart and you see, you don't see a story because this story has no power in it. This story has no power in it. The power is in seeing the wisdom and the heart of wisdom that is the Lord. 
and to see that within, but not the, but not in the story, in the eternity. Yes. That is what will keep you going. And that doesn't wear off. It doesn't wear off. It doesn't wear off. Because you now have His heart. And He gives you His heart. And Jesus gave us everything. And He poured out everything. And He did it out of what? He did it out of love. He didn't do it because he had the power to do it. He didn't do it for all the reasons that we would do it. He did it out of love. And love never fails. Well, so I know that we're, we're we still got four more days or something like this. <laughs> um, so we're so so don't you know don't fret do you know the word fret don't be upset or worried yeah there you go <clears throat> um he wants to fill us and he wants to open our eyes and, and open the eyes of our heart you remember singing that song open the eyes of my heart lord let's quit singing it <laughs> you know what I mean? let's not sing it anymore let's just say open the eyes of my heart but with Adam he was standing right there and God said it and it just went over his head he didn't realize this is, this is more than a covenant he sees me in his image and the only way that that image is truly going to come forth is as I embrace, embrace his heart, mm. embrace him in this way. So, um, oh, so let me just uh, read this part. This is uh, verse 31. And God saw everything that he had made. Mm. And behold, this is his view. This is very good. It's not good. It's very good. His heart. This is very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So, I guess, Lord willing, and it's all his thing, so I don't know, but, but we will probably go back into chapter 2 now and look at some of the differences and some of the things that are there. And... Uh, Again, he's in control here, so um, I, I'm just trying to follow what he's saying. Let's pray. Father, when we, when we look through the eyes of Jesus, who spoke through parables, who thought, who spoke through the looking glass of eternity, who looked at a heart and a wisdom that was before mistakes, before the devil, before the sin, before all of the adjustments that we've tried to make to sin. Just, just your heart, Father. Then we, we want to understand you, Father, by Jesus. We want, we want his word, whether it is in Genesis or in the parables or wherever. We want to see you, Father, and we want to see your Son, and we want to see the Holy Spirit as you want to be seen instead of as we have made you to appear. And so we believe that's what's in your heart. We believe that that's the hidden mysteries and the hidden wisdom from before the world. Because that's all that was there was you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
And so, may your spirit speak to us and not just in a church service kind of speaking. Mm -hmm. And may our times together not, not in the meeting like tonight, <coughs> but our times together when we're sitting around like, like, like these folks have been doing, Father. And, and questioning or asking or, or hearing from someone who has a tidbit or a piece that your spirit would hover over them and you would be in the midst. Because where two or more are gathered, you're there. And of course, you're already in us. And of course, you, the fullness that you call fullness is way more full than what we call it. So we, we just love you. We love you. We want to hear from you in the manner that you want to be heard. We ask it. Not for our sake. We're not seeking stuff for us tonight and in these days. But for your sake. Mm -hmm. Father, how often is that phrase used for Jesus' sake? Mm -hmm. And yet we do so much. We ask him to do so much for our sake. So continue to bless and to move. Bless us the way you blessed Adam and Eve. Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.